Greetings, Eric Back, a naturopath from New Zealand, author of Candida Crusher and formulator of the Candida range of dietary supplements. I've got a question today from a patient over in Japan. Uh, I get a few questions from Japanese people about buttermilk. This person wants to know if buttermilk is any good for uh, someone with a Candida yeast infection. Buttermilk is a very good product. Traditionally, it used to be milk that was left over after cheese making, but, but today it's actually not. It's actually almost like a, a, a milk produced a bit like yogurt is. They'll add bacteria, maybe lactic acid to it to give like a sour kind of a flavor. Buttermilk's actually very good to have. Just bear in mind if you've got a milk allergy, it may be a problem because it will still contain uh, you know, the beta casein protein in it and that can affect your immune system. So if you have milk allergy like me, then it's probably not really a good idea to have uh, buttermilk in your diet. If you don't have a milk allergy, however, there's nothing wrong with having some buttermilk in your diet from time to time, because it's quite a healthy food to have. It's got a nice tangy flavor about it. So, and again, common sense, if you've got bad yeast infection, you need to avoid uh, dairy products really for you know, a, a quite a while, because they can really challenge your immune system. So. Just take these foods out, you know, initially for the first month or so. Um, the low allergy diet or phase two of my candida diet includes the removal of cow's milk uh, from the diet and usually yogurt as well. If you've got a major um, allergy for uh, dairy products and you want to take out, uh, you know, cow's milk, yogurt, cream and these sorts of things from the diet. Uh, butter is generally always fine. I've never seen butter allergies. And you need to be cautious with cheese too if you've got a strong um, cow's milk allergy. So if you know you've got an allergy towards cow's milk or dairy, avoid buttermilk. If you don't have it, you can incorporate small amounts into your diet. But however, uh, to be to be safe, uh, as you're going through the, uh, the stages of the Candida Crusher diet, the first stage is the MEVI diet, the meat, eggs, vegetables and yogurt. The second stage is the low allergy diet. And I usually take out things like buttermilk, uh, cream, uh, a lot of cheeses from the diet and just for about a month or so four to six weeks to allow the immune system a bit of breathing space because many people with candida in fact have got leaky gut syndrome and buttermilk will not be good for people uh, trying to recover from leaky gut so yes it is a good food but you need to be cautious with it if you know you've got an allergy avoid it otherwise incorporate small amounts into your diet and see how you go so i hope that answers your question last thing i'll leave you with is buttermilk does have uh, almost as good as yogurt, a beneficial effect uh, on the intestinal tract uh, for encouraging the proliferation of good bacteria, especially if it's an organic buttermilk or one that's certified organic or biodynamic and made by uh, using the, the correct organic methods. It's beneficial. Thanks for your attention.